A bearish range expansion from a consolidation of narrow range bars shows us that selling has become extreme from a period of little activity. Prices form a consolidation of narrow range bars at A. Throughout this time, traders are not committing their money with authority. Prices form a bearish range expansion from a consolidation of narrow range bars at B, which shows us there is an explosion in selling. Traders are aggressively committing their money to a short position. When traders commit their money to a short position with authority from a consolidation of narrow range bars, trade in the direction of those traders. Prices decline from multiple bars in one direction at C. Prices form a range expansion ending at D. The range expansion ending shows us that there was an increase in selling after prices declined for several bars in a row. This shows us the majority of traders believe this move will continue lower, which increases the odds for a reversal. Chapter 2 is Trend or Pivot Analysis. Pivots are areas where there has been a shift in control between buyers and sellers. Pivots are points where real money was committed to defend a price level. There is no doubt when a pivot high has formed, selling has increased. There is no doubt when a pivot low has formed, buying has increased. If a pivot has been overcome, a strong shift in control has taken place. There is no reason to take action based on pivots alone. They are a way to objectively determine the balance of buying and selling. When determining a pivot, focus on the high and low of the bar. The body is not considered when determining a pivot. Pivots form in different ways. Let's go over how we will define each of them. A pivot low has two higher low bars on both sides of the pivot bar. How the highs form are not important. On pattern A, there is a low bar. On the left side of the low bar, there are two bars that have higher lows. They do not have to be consecutive higher lows. The lows of the two bars on the left must be higher than the low bar. On the right side of the low bar, there are two bars that have higher lows. Again, they do not have to be consecutive higher lows. The lows on the two bars on the right side must be higher than the low bar. A pivot high has two lower high bars on both sides of the pivot bar. How the highs form are not important. On pattern B there is a high bar. On the left side of the high bar there are two bars with lower highs. They do not have to be consecutive lower highs. The two bars on the left side must be lower than the high bar. On the right side of the high bar there are two bars with lower highs. They do not have to be consecutive lower highs. The two bars on the right side must be lower than the high bar. The second pivot low has two equal low bars with two higher low bars on one side of the pivot bars and one higher low bar on the other side. How the highs form are not important. The second pivot high has two equal high bars with two lower high bars on one side of the pivot bars and one lower high bar on the other side. How the lows form are not important. The third pivot low has three or more equal low bars with one higher low bar on both sides of the pivot bars. How the highs form are not important. The third pivot high has three or more equal high bars with one lower high bar on both sides of the pivot bars. How the lows form are not important. Pivots are areas where there has been a shift in control between the buyers and sellers. Traders committing real money at these price levels are what form the pivot. On the first pivot high that forms, there are three bars that have equal highs. On the left side of these equal high bars, there is a bar with a lower high. On the right side of the three equal high bars, the next bar completes its session and it has a lower high. That makes the three equal high bars a pivot high. Next there are two bars that have equal lows. On the left side of the two equal low bars, there are two bars with higher lows. The next bar on the right side of the two equal low bars completes its session and it has a higher low. That makes the two equal low bars a pivot low. Prices form a high bar that has two lower highs on both the left and right side of the high bar. That makes the high bar a pivot high. Next there are three bars that have equal lows. On the left side of the equal low bars there is a higher low bar. 
the next bar on the right side of the three equal low bars completes its session, and it has a higher low. That makes the three equal low bars a pivot low. Prices form a high bar that have two lower high bars on both the left and right side of the high bar. That makes the high bar a pivot high. Prices form a low bar that has two higher low bars on both the left and right side of the low bar. That makes the low bar a pivot low. Next there is a high bar that has two lower high bars on both the left and right side of the high bar. That makes the high bar a pivot high. Prices form two bars with equal lows. On the left side of the equal low bars, there are two bars that have higher lows. The next bar on the right side of the two equal low bars completes its session, and it has a higher low. That makes the equal low bars a pivot low. Prices form two bars with equal highs. On the left side of the equal high bars, there are two bars with lower highs. The next bar on the right side of the two equal high bars completes its session, and it has a lower high. That makes the two equal high bars a pivot high. Prices form two bars with equal lows. On the left side of the equal low bars, there are two bars with higher lows. The next bar on the right side of the two equal low bars completes its session, and it has a higher low. That makes the two equal low bars a pivot low. Prices form a low bar that has two higher low bars on both the left and right side of the low bar. That makes the low bar a pivot low. Prices form a high bar that has two lower high bars on both the left and right side of the high bar. That makes the high bar a pivot high. Pivot analysis never stops. Continue to update every new pivot as they form. The movement of price forms what is called a trend. Trends are always moving in one of three ways, up, down, or sideways. An uptrend is characterized by a series of higher pivot highs and higher pivot lows. A downtrend is characterized by a series of lower pivot highs and lower pivot lows. A sideways trend is characterized by a series of equal pivot highs and equal pivot lows. Prices enter an uptrend once a higher high and higher low have been established. Higher high and higher low do not have to become a pivot to confirm a new uptrend. On pattern A, prices are trending lower. There is a high point and a low point. Prices advance and form a higher high. Prices pull back. Once prices begin turning up to form higher low, it becomes an uptrend. On pattern B, prices are moving sideways between support and resistance. Recognize the most recent high and low points. Prices advance and form a higher high. Prices pull back from higher high. Once prices begin turning up to form higher low, is when an uptrend is established. Once prices form a higher high and a higher low, an uptrend has been established. It does not matter what comes first, the higher high or the higher low. Analyze the high and low pivots. Once prices form a higher high, analyze the next pullback, and if prices form a higher low, an uptrend has been established. As long as prices are forming higher highs and higher lows, prices remain in an uptrend. Once prices stop forming higher highs or higher lows, it has violated the rules and prices are no longer in an uptrend. Uptrends are not always clean and controlled. If prices are forming higher highs and higher lows, it is an uptrend. Once prices stop forming higher highs or higher lows, it has violated the rules and prices are no longer in an uptrend. Prices enter a downtrend once a lower low and lower high have been established. Lower low and lower high do not have to become a pivot to confirm a new downtrend. On pattern A, prices are trending higher. There is a low point and a high point. Prices decline and make a lower low. Prices rally. Once prices begin turning down to form lower high, it becomes a downtrend. On pattern B, prices are consolidating between support and resistance. Recognize the most recent low and high points. When prices decline and make a lower low, then rally, and begin turning down to form a lower high, that is when a downtrend is established. 